Today, uh, our guests on Special Times are Al Milne, the president of Mass Advocates Standing Strong, which is most commonly known as, as Mass, along with Brian Kramer, who is the director. I have been involved with with Mass for many for many years, starting with my membership in the Watch Say Self Advocates, which is which was the the self advocacy group of Greater Waltham Mark for a few years. I was elected member of the Mass Board of Directors. Welcome, Al and Brian. Glad to be here. Um, what is the history of Mass, and how did you become the leaders? Mass was officially founded, incorporated, in May of 1998. Uh, prior to that, there was a steering committee made up of self-advocates and representatives from the self-advocacy group across the state. Uh, the organization's first chairperson was Craig Smith, who was one of the co-founders of Mass along with Judy Roger and other self-advocates. Uh, Mass um, recognizes uh, Craig and Judy with that award. Uh, give, it, give it to their name every year. In terms of how we became uh, leaders at Mass, so I was um, brought into the organization in January of 2019. I was interviewed by the, the state board, the state governance board of Mass Advocates Standing Strong, and was um, brought on in January of 2019. Uh, from what I recall, I believe Al was elected by the Southeast region at the end of 2018 uh, to represent the Southeast region on the state board. Shortly after that, um, later that year in 2019, Al was nominated by uh, this, the other statewide board members and officers and elected, and they elected Al to, to lead Mass Advocate Standing Strong as the president. Well, that, that's great. Um, what is the, mis the mission of Mass? Our mission at Mass is to empower self-advocates through education so we can make choices that improve and enrich our lives and the lives of other self-advocates and people with disabilities. The organization like teaches a lot about rights, leadership, abuse awareness, and many other topics. Um, but you know, as Al likes to remind us, you know, we, we bring people together to have fun. And these trainings, you know, a lot of these trainings are related to self-advocacy. The self-advocacy leadership series or the SALS training is one of our top trainings in the organization along with ANA. Uh, we also have a statewide rainbow group and other legislative task forces, such as this Mass Supported Decision Making Task Force, um, which is a big part of our organization and helping uh, teach people about policy. and And as we have said at Mass, nothing about us without us is a is a key uh, key part of the organization as well. How many people are currently served by Mass? Mass has a network of over 3,000 self-advocates across Massachusetts. Anyone, anyone eligible for or receiving service from the Massachusetts Department of Developmental Services is eligible to participate in Mass Advocates Standing Strong programming. Mass offers uh, additional training opportunities to transition age, youth, and adults with disabilities to learn how to advocate and learn about important topics through SALS, Self-Advocates Leadership Series training. Each year we train about 200 self-advocates -advoc with more than getting involved with our regional re uh, rainbow and other task force groups. How is MASS organized and what are the main activities. Mass is uh, broken up into five regions. If you look at our logo, you see we got five different people on the top of the, the Mass name and our logo. Those five people represent the five regions of Mass. So we have Central, Metro, Southeast, Northeast, 
And we partner with the Western Mass Training Consortium and the West Region Self-Advocacy Group for the work in the West Region. The Governance Board is made up of three board members from each of the regions and seven additional at-large board members from anywhere in the state for a total of 21 board members. So that's 15 regional board members, three from each region, and then seven additional at-large board members from anywhere in the state. We also require that at least one board member be a, from a state facility. And currently we have board members from Rentham Developmental Center represented on the state governance board. What is the most important accomplishment of MASS? From our, our history, some of the, the top achievements of the organization for MASS has been, uh, which Peter, you may know well, is the Change the Name initiative back in 2008, changing the name from DMR to DDS. So many self-advocates were involved in that. We also have a video clip of people advocating way back in early in 2000, all the way through 2008, talking about changing the name. Uh, so that was a big, a big accomplishment for the organization and self-advocates across Massachusetts. We also have done a lot of advocacy around the Real Lives Bill in 2014. More recently, the organization has been very involved in advocating for the supported decision-making bill and, and having supported decision-making become a law. Um, and we continue to have many accomplishments throughout the year in training self-advocates to become leaders through our self-advocacy leadership series, Sal's training. What are the future plans? for mass so the future plans for mass currently we are creating a brand new membership program and portal for new members to get involved with the organization and we're we have created a new participant portal that we're rolling out for our meetings um, one of the biggest uh, recent accomplishments has been the the new website that's at wearemass.org if you haven't gone there you can check for all of the most up-to-date information about the organization, including an events calendar where we share upcoming events that are happening in the organization as well as partner organizations. Uh, so definitely check out our website for the most up-to-date information that you can find about the organization and different activities that we have going on. Um, in terms of you know other plans, I think in general, you know something that's really important to our officers and our board leaders, is making sure that we're we're hearing from self advocates that we're you know giving people an opportunity to not only learn but to have a good like a good time and to have fun with their peers and become leaders in the organization. We've grown our board, the number of board positions in the organization, so we really want to start to see some new new faces out there, new leaders uh, helping us turn the corner here as we kick off the next twenty five years. How can people help? help Mass and its mission. If you want to help Mass, well, one way, we have uh, some job postings up on our site. You can always check out there to see for opportunities, job opportunities to get involved. Um, you can join the organization as an ally or contributing member to help support the organization, donate to the work that we do. You know, Mass is unique in, in this space because we are made up of board officers, board leaders, people with intellectual, developmental, self-advocate um, leaders that identify as people with disabilities that are leading our organization. And, you know, having some, some support from people that want to partner with us, that want to help with the mission of the organization, help our leaders achieve, you know, new skills and grow with the organization. But just knowing that it's how, how helpful it can be to contribute to an organization like ours, doing this unique work, making sure that self-advocates have a voice at the table and that it's heard. Um, and so you can, you can help by, one, supporting the organization. You can also help by I, you know, sharing this organization with self-advocates and others that you know that you think would be good leaders. Uh, we're always we always have our door open to to people that want to help lead this organization um, and support other self advocates in doing this work. If you see any job things out there for me to help Mass, please uh, 
let me know, all right? Uh, we have an opening for our self-advocate peer training role. We also have uh, new facilitator roles that we've started up, so you should definitely check those out. How's my old friend Ed doing? He went to our conference this year, so it was good to see him. He's doing well. Let me know about any state house uh, events. Yeah, we just testified in the state house uh, in September for the supported decision making bill. We had uh, groups of people that were testifying from Central, and then somebody else from the Northeast. So we had brought in somebody into our office, and the other individual was out in Central. So we had them connect on the on the testimony to present their testimony together. They wouldn't allow people to testify remotely and in person on the same panel. So we set up an opportunity for them to connect on a panel uh, together. So we did that in September. And I know there's other uh, things that we're submitting testimony for, for the adult changing tables. That's an initiative, the changing spaces bill that, that's out there right now. I don't have the number on me. I'm sorry. But that's something that we've been actively involved in. Any final comments or questions? I feel that self uh, self advocacy is a is an important thing for people with disabilities. I think it's very vital to speak out when you have issues or problems. That's wonderful. Um, we wish to thank Al and Brian for appearing on this episode of Special Times with with Pierre Falls. So stay tuned. For the next episode, thank you for watching.